Hello viewers, welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to talk about load balancer. So I'm going to split this video into two parts. So in the first part, I'm going to go through my notes here. And in the second part, we will actually go ahead and do some hands on about this topic. So what we'll be covering here is um, how to set up a load balancer and how to set up instance group, auto scaling group and so on. So we will be covering few concepts in this video. Um, so what, what we'll be doing is uh, first we're going to create an instance and then we're going to configure that instance as a web server and basically what we will be doing in that instance is um, install Apache, make sure the service is enabled so that it gets started every time it starts every time you reboot the machine um, and then uh, you create a simple index.html page. So that's an instance, a temporary instance, we create that and what we are going to do next is we will be creating an image from that disk and then we're going to create an instance template based on that image and then we will be using an instance group which will be using the instance template here and uh, then we will be having an auto scaling configuration in this instance group so this instance group will launch instance based on the instance template we have here okay and uh, the instance template is based on the image that's based on the instance that we actually created so once we created this image we can go ahead and delete the instance disk and everything all right so we don't need that actually i just wanted to show you the process of creating the image from the disk and then creating an instance template from the image uh, that's why i'm going through this process otherwise um, what i would normally do is i wouldn't have to do all these things when when it comes to creating the instance template what i can do is um, there's a field where you can specify uh, a script that gets run whenever your machine reboots so i've done a video on that earlier um, so i can uh, put in the put in those lines basically like three lines uh, add get install apache and then um, uh, echo something to index.html and then make sure the service comes up every time you reboot the machine so it's just a three line script that i can put in the startup field uh, when creating the instance template but i just want to go through the process of creating the instance creating the image from the disk and creating the instance template from the image and so on um, so feel free to skip that part if you know how to uh, use the uh, how to use all these okay so when you are serving your web application uh, it makes sense to have a couple of different instance group uh, deployed in different regions so as you can see here uh, we will be creating an instance group based on this instance template and uh, we will be specifying the number of instance we want in this instance group to start with and then we specify auto scaling group uh, let's say um, uh, the auto scaling will be based on cpu utilization metric so if the collective cpu utilization goes above 80 percent uh, the auto scaling will add more instance to this instance group so that's uh, the instance group and it's deployed in a region and these instances uh, for high availability we will be deploying that in multiple zones within the same region so if a zone goes down then we still have the instances in the other zone so auto scaling group will make sure that uh, the number of instance we specify will always be there so if a zone goes down you always have uh, an instance coming up in a different zone so we don't have to worry about the high availability um, so as long as you select the multi zone option when creating the instance group all right so for example this instance group we create it in the eu region and uh, we specify multi zone so all the instance uh, the instances are spread across multiple zones in the eu region so that's fine we've covered the high availability thing and so on and uh, then we can go ahead and create the load balancer and while creating the load balancer we need to configure the backend backend is uh like telling what instance group to uh what instance group provides the access provides the service and so on so in the load balancer we are going to create a backend uh to point to an instance group here so well, why would you want to you can always create another instance group in a different region for example you can uh, replicate the same instance group in a different region for example asia region or in uh, america's region so why would you want to create that because high availability is already covered by deploying it to a single region because of the multi-zone so it's very highly unlikely that uh, the entire region will go down so that's never going to happen in theory but 
in case uh, if it goes down and if you deployed it in multiple regions if you deployed another instance group on a different region uh, then high availability it's more available than deploying it in a single region but that's not the important thing the reason you would want to deploy instance group in another region is because of uh, this particular use case consider your users are spread around the globe okay so users in australia you use uh, users in us users in asia spread across all the, all over the world and depending upon from where they are accessing your application they hit the load balancer and the load balancer will be able to uh, respond or uh, direct the traffic to the instance group that is very near uh, nearest to them all right so if a user from india or uh, from uh, china uh, access the application the load balancer can uh, direct the request to the instance group in the asia region if it's from london frankfurt europe and it can direct the request to the europe region so that's uh, something to do with the latency depending upon uh, where the requests are coming from okay but in the video uh, in the hands-on video we will just create one region all right okay so enough talking in this video and i will see you all in the next video where we will cover all these hands-on okay so um stay tuned i will see you all in my next video bye bye